Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic static imports in Java packages. So first of all, let us start with what is package, a small revision. Package is nothing but folder or directory in our operating system. So what is the definition of package? A package is a collection of different classes as a single unit. And these classes can be complete classes, abstract classes, interfaces classes, base classes and subclasses in a single folder. And these classes will be in compiled format dot class files. So coming to how to create a package. So to create a package, we use package keyword package followed by package name delimiter semicolon example package pack one package pack two. So here package create creation statement is used at the beginning of the program and package name and folder name should be compulsory same. Then how to use the package? To use the package, we use import keyword import package name dot star. So star indicates all classes in the package can be used in our program. Similarly, import pack to package name dot class name. Only that particular class name is used or imported in our program. So now let us understand what is this static import in Java packages. So we are going to create a public class in any existing or new package and we are going to add some static members in that class. Example public static int d is equals to 22 public static void m8 method and this static content can be used in our program as follows import static package name pack2 dot class name static import class dot star so what happens when we use this static import statement so technically this is called as static import statement okay so static import statement allows us to access static content of a class so static content of a class in our program generally the main program without class name or object name so without class name or object name we can access the static content in our program okay so that means direct access as if the static content is available directly in our program so let us create a package program static import class dot java in pack to package and we are going to use that in our main class package example one dot java so the working directory goes like this d colon core java progs programs main program will be here in programs folder package example one dot java under that we have pack to folder and we are going to create a public class static import class dot java which will be the static content so let us first create the program to demo use of static content of package in main program so so this will be here okay we'll change this to different right description so program to create a public class with static content in pack to package so the program name is static import class so public class static import class package name java2 
so under this we are going to take two static members public static entity 22 public static void m8 and we are displaying a message static import method so save this in your working directory d colon core java Prox programs java2 folder as static import class dot java so this one we are supposed to use it in the main class with main method package example one so in package example one simply say import static static import statement pack to package name dot class name static import class dot star so all the static content of this particular class static import class can be used in our main program or in our program or class directly without class name or without object name so let us go to the coding in our main method so here static content access without class name or object name right so we can say simply here system dot out dot println we can print d value here so the d value is 22 we can also call m8 method directly so our main method is also static m8 method is also static so static static direct access no class name no object name right open the command prompt go to your working directory and then directly compile the main program package example one dot java automatically sub package class is also compiled okay so here we are getting cannot access static import class okay so make sure that it is in the correct directory so let us save this in a correct directory okay so simply say cls right so static import class okay we'll save this in our working directory pack 2 right so here we are using java2 package name so we'll change this to pack2 so package name and folder name should be same otherwise we'll get the errors right now come to the command prompt recompile the program right no error and then run it so d value 22 and static import method so this is how we are supposed to create a static import public class with static content and that can be used in the program main program or any other program through static import statement and then we can use the static content directly in our program without class name without object name so that is what is all about static imports in java packages of java program thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day